Hi, I'm Hank. Over the last few years, I've helped make thousands of science videos, so I like to think that I know a thing or two about how the universe works. Like, take sand, for example. If you put it in water, it's supposed to get wet. That's how sand works. Except, maybe that isn't true for all sand. In your Universe Unboxed kit, you should have a packet of something called magic sand. It is not really magical, but it is pretty strange. Here's why. To find out, you'll need about 30 grams of magic sand, a test tube, water, and a pencil or pen. First, fill your test tube halfway with water, then fill the rest with sand. So next, you're gonna take a pencil or pen and slowly poke it through the sand and into the water. But first, what do you think is gonna happen? A. Is the sand gonna sink? Is the sand gonna change colors? Will it stay dry? Or will it get bigger? Let's find out. This is something else. You guys, what's happening? The sand is still dry. Regular sand gets wet when it touches water, but for some reason, this sand stayed dry. And that's because it's covered in something called a hydrophobic compound. The word hydrophobic actually comes from the Greek words for water and fear. So literally, hydrophobic means water-fearing. Of course, sand can't actually be afraid of things. So really, this word just means magic sand repels water and won't get wet. Sometimes, accidents can cause a bunch of oil to spill into the ocean or other bodies of water. And oil can be hard to clean up, and it can also be dangerous for the plants and animals that live there. So scientists are always looking for new ways to get rid of it. And that's where magic sand comes in. You can try out this experiment to see how. For this, you'll only need three things. Magic sand, a clear bowl of water, and vegetable oil. If you don't have any vegetable oil, you can use something similar, like olive oil. First, add a little vegetable oil to your bowl of water. Oil is hydrophobic, and it's less dense than water, so it should repel the water and float. What do you think will happen when we add our magic sand? Based on what you know already, take a few minutes to make a prediction. Then, when you're ready, sprinkle magic sand over the spots of oil. Ooh. That's neat. Oh, it's dripping it down. Oh, yeah, it's cool. The explanation here is pretty simple. Magic sand is covered in a hydrophobic compound, and oil is also hydrophobic. That means magic sand sticks to the oil and forms little clumps that get oil off the surface. If you want to learn more about some of the creative ways that we humans clean up our waste, you can watch our SciShow episode about creatures that clean up toxic waste. Thanks for experimenting with me.